in Mongolia today, the gap between uh, richer people and poor people are really increasing. About 20 years ago, there wasn't really much difference. People had equal opportunities, but now it's a really big uh, difference. I think it's more to do with the opportunity that people have. Now people don't want to live in poverty anymore and pushing government to help them to improve their livelihood. National tearing is uh, providing really good opportunity for the uh, people to uh, be more active uh, citizens of the society and to encourage them to improve their livelihood themselves. It makes a contribution to building capacity of people living in poverty and at the same time helping them to help other poor people to improve their livelihood. Beso Mongolia is working mainly on two uh, objectives. Uh, within the National Volunteering uh, Program. First of all, to raise awareness of government officials and uh, uh, NGO sector and other organizations. Uh, together with our partners, we organize campaigns like International Volunteer Day so that people and uh, government officials understand more what is uh, National Volunteering. And the second objective is uh, that we work towards is the capacity building. We build capacity of our partners and how to manage volunteers, how to manage the volunteering project and programs so that the programs have a good impact on the lives of the poor people. Thank you very much for all of you coming on a uh, Sunday morning. Um, and I, I really appreciate we won't keep you here for uh, very long, but I first want to thank you all for, for coming. The National Volunteering Network comprises of uh, 24 local and national NGOs. Many of them uh, come from international well-known organizations, other ones are just starting up, they're just brand new, um, and they fill areas, um, education services, health services, social service um, services, so from different fields, um, all coming together, and the goal is to strengthen their NGOs, um, as well as strengthen the network, and bring them all together so there is a good group of Mongolian local volunteers working for development in the country different groups of people and really listen to what other different uh, viewpoints um, have to offer. Today's workshop was the first stage of a series of six workshops on project cycle management. Um, the first one dealing with the needs assessment to see what skills do they have um, and what is the needs of the community uh, they would like to implement projects on. And my goal was to give them the information so that they're able to right away apply it as, as they learn um, this information. We're doing a volunteer management systems manual of how to conduct a volunteer management training from recruitment to interviews to selections, all the way down to motivation and retention to then the exit interviews in that process. I want it to be a standalone manual too for those who weren't able to attend the seminar to just look at the manual and see, okay, great, we got interested people, now how do we start now getting a successful volunteer program? Initially, we thought it's almost uh, impossible to achieve anything because uh, government uh, officials uh, and uh, decision makers who have the most of powers and uh, resources uh, don't really uh, understand about uh, national volunteering and the community as well. But with support from our partners, uh, we managed to achieve uh, quite a lot. My name is Glenn Bede Benablo. I am from the Philippines. I am a VSO volunteer working with the Darhan Health Department as uh, originally as a nurse trainer and uh, I was, uh, the, the, the position was changed to um, health management advisor. One of the problems of Mongolia is that they cannot provide adequate free medicines to the community so we would like the volunteers to help promote the primary health care. Uh, make the community aware that there is such thing as um, prevention rather than cure, uh, make the community aware that injection is not good all the time, that uh, they need to visit family clinics for advice and some counseling services maybe from the nurses and from the doctors. 
The doctors are overworked but underpaid. National volunteering really made the doctors happy uh, because they have some free time off from the community work. The volunteers are doing now the primary health care, which makes the doctors have more time in the clinic and give uh, quality services to the populace. It was difficult for, for the directors to understand what uh, national volunteering is all about. So we, we decided to bring these people for a study tour in the Philippines, hoping that they would be able to see successful projects in the Philippines. And I should say that uh, it was a very successful trip because when we came back to Mongolia, the directors were so enthusiastic to implement the national volunteer project. And um, we took off from there. We started uh, as a pilot project. And um, in so short time, the Ministry of Health has already recognized the, the value of the project, its um, practicality and in terms of applicability to the healthcare delivery system. So the Ministry of Health are exploring some possibilities to replicate this to the entire country. I think it's very, very important that VSO is supporting national volunteering as part of its way of working. We've seen in, in Mongolia how that works effectively in terms of combining um, the impact of international volunteers together with national volunteers, in terms of uh, making our programs sustainable. I think a lot of people question uh, what international volunteering um, can do in terms of sustainability of its programs, but the national volunteering element brings that in and enables us to plan an exit strategy from the country and where we're going because um, national volunteers will take the work forward. I think uh, national volunteering has really good potential because there are already available uh, very powerful human uh, resources, the volunteers. So the advantage of volunteers are community members themselves, uh, encouraging, empowering people to um, uh, improve their livelihood and mobilizing their resources is cost effective and it takes a shorter time to improve the livelihood of poor people. My hopes, uh, and I think VSO Mongolia's hopes for the future for national volunteering are that uh, we can get government agencies and ministries to see the value and to really support volunteering uh, from their perspective, which is already beginning to happen at a regional level. And we have caused the interest of some ministries, but we would really very much hope that the ministries do take it forward and even put it into policy. And, you know, I think we're making some headway there, but there's still, there's still a long way to go.